live back uh, on air and uh, this time we'll see Andrew Griffins again but this time not facing HFD but DI the Indiana which uh, well formerly known as uh, New Generation uh, one of the new teams that joined uh, up with a uh, multi gaming clans and organizations and uh, We'll see those two German powerhouses, let's say it this way, those German titans. We'll see them uh, facing each other on uh, Collapse Tunnel. Once a really one-sided map. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, changed a lot lately as uh, more and more teams are able to run in flash. Of course, Tunnel was always something that you just, on the tech, and just throw all your flash down to T, to the T-Cross uh, on the sewer. And uh, it was like, really really one-sided map and uh, some uh, some even said that tunnel is not really competitive map but they have been proven wrong as uh, as we see uh, yeah a lot of rounds being won on defense uh, defending side now as well people running in blind just proning back in the sewer or sometimes even going ne just next to objective and uh, yeah, it's get really balanced and uh, it's a really fast, really uh, fast-paced, uh, action-loaded map. I really like Tunnel. And uh, I expect uh, a, a really, really good game. So uh, it's going to be entertaining, I guess. Let's, let's take a quick look at the lineups because uh, I expect them to go, uh, to go into mission playing round soon. Uh, for uh, DI, we'll have uh, Tobbe as uh, team captain. We have Senox, Mia, and BX2, also known as uh, Butterbloomer, so uh, or Butterbloomer. And um, for Enro, of course, uh, lineup didn't change. They only have four players. Uh, attending this line is Massa, Skoni, Snooker, and Zenz. Obviously, uh, DI is not ready yet. I'm not quite sure why, but. Should be done in a second. Obviously, there's some problems again with the uh, with one of the PCs from the eye. Not quite sure what it is, but looks like a small delay again. Oh, never mind. We're mission planning round, so problems seem to be fixed already. Well, let's see. We have uh, DI starting on defending and uh, Enro on uh, attacking. I've seen that uh, it's not only more balanced uh, lately. Tunnel is not only more balanced, but sometimes defense is even uh, easier. I see. Yeah, teams uh, winning more rounds on defense lately than they do on attacking, as uh, as it's just hard to breach or get uh, into extraction for the attacking team when there's someone prone to far in the sewer and uh, just waiting for them to come forward. So it's just a matter of good spam, a combination with smokes being deployed, and then uh, yeah, sometimes it's just when there's always tactics and anti-tactics, and uh, yeah, I'm sure they. Uh, prepared for this as uh, as this is no new scenario so uh, let's see what they have prepared to uh, to win their rounds I think for the eye we have a different lineup than they used in the matches before uh, we didn't cast any of their matches yet I think it's just their second map for today so um, it's the second match today. So uh, previously, I think they were previously they were playing with. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I think Xenox wasn't playing, but I can't guarantee actually. So I might be wrong. I uh, won't say anything about it. I'll just leave it as it is. So uh, yeah, 12 seconds on the clock, and uh, we'll be live in about five seconds. Good luck and have fun being exchanged again. Of course, fun is uh, the important factor on this LAN, as this is most likely, or let's say it's definitely the last LAN with AA 2.845.
We're live and let's see if there's some some spam going on. No, it look, doesn't look like defense spam. It's uh, interesting as most teams these days use spam from the defense to, uh, to the attacking side. On Tekken and uh, Enro, just the normal flashes, just usual. Oh, we have three guys, three guys for DI spamming down the the sewer. See there? Oh, Mia just ran in blind, got the first kill on the uh, on Master there. He's just prone behind the last tire, so they, this means they could even run towards the extraction of the team, but there's. They stop it in East Extraction now, so uh, Wounds and getting killed out and on uh, on Mir. I think he just spammed him all the way through the sewer. As Owen gets the second kill, he's just prone himself in the sewer, so he should stop it as well. <coughs> gets shot by Sun, so this is Sconey. I think he's still at T cross prone at the tire next to West Elbow. We have Xenox, just almost the same spot that uh, Mir has been all the way. Far back in extraction, east side behind the barrel, prone, and uh, Ben's not Zen's not prone in west anymore, but he's inside west exit. He's uh, he's red though, so is Sconey. Now both are west. Xenox is still green though, and uh, this might be interesting to see. Two and two situation. BX2 just spamming down a bit. So is Xenox, as I can't see anything through the smoke, Xenox made all his way to East Axis, I think. And he's just inside East Axis, sitting, oh, he's going to get a nice shot of BX2, but he was right already, so it's only Xenox, Xenox is spamming, just know that Xenox is already in East Axis. Xenox just moves out, red himself, just leans out of East Axis, gets a nice shot on Xenox, Xenox didn't expect him to come there, doesn't even shoot back. This means we're 1-0 in favor of Andrew Griffin's, Andrew Griffin's lead. Just the first round though doesn't mean anything. Again, no spam upstairs. No T rush there from the attacking team, the normal flash, although they didn't go really straight from what I saw. I see, let's take a look at Sconey. Sconey all the way into extraction. He's just running. Oh, it looks like DI didn't make the way into extraction this time. Oh, but there's one in East Axis. Sconey gets a kill. Mia just there with a flash port in his hand inside East Axis. Didn't expect him to come there. Sconey is flashed, though, so he got the kill. So this looks like a round for attacking, actually. So they made their way all towards extraction point without any form of uh, resistance. They're, oh, and they're flashing each other. There's a big, big. Uh, Mistaken the team play obviously. Snoopy getting a kill on top of that. Oh, and Xenox just tries to hold them off as they were taking objective already. He couldn't do anything but just rush in, try to get the kill, but actually there were two guys sighting on him. This 2-0 lead for uh, Enro. Um, uh, I don't know why uh, the eye is not spamming defense upstairs um, they could have slowed them down a bit already it's some we don't have Sconey being first there but Master oh and that two hits Master is hit going inside extraction flashing east access now uh, again two guys in the oh Mia shot Sconey there with a nice shot it's yellow himself though zone spamming down a bit from west elbow just goes inside west access now as well we have a couple of guys inside extraction again Mia just there with another kill on Master and BX2 kills Snooker, this is going so fast, Zant kills Tobber, so this means we have Zant being in West Axis, yellow though, and uh, looks like a good round there for DI as they win their first round with Xanox taking down Zant, who just tried to move out of West Axis towards West Elbow again, but couldn't get out as Xanox expected him to do that, already zooming at his West Axis door. Means we're 2 1 in favor of Enro, but we still got a couple of rounds to go. This time it's going again, and we have BX2 flanking, obviously. He's still holding back a bit though. 
And it did, Mia get shot by Master down there, he didn't make it in flash zone, just comes to T-Cross, just comes, shoots, uh, shoots Tobu, had a flash pull, and now we have two guys, T-Cross, first guy getting shot, Zanz getting shot, but Xanox was just back there at the barrel, uh, taken down by Master though, doesn't look like a good round for DI, as Skoni is already taking the objective, last guy is BX2, who came all the damn way down from East S, just shoots Master, being prone to in East Axel, but actually comes too late as Skoni just reach extraction. Three one in favor of Andrew Griffins. I always uh, experienced uh, DI as a, as a good tunnel team, and uh, I don't know why, but obviously they uh, don't make their way into uh, East Axis. Usually they get in blind, but. Maybe it's something with different sensitivity, they can't turn it around as, as they used to because, again, it's going inside extraction. One being flashed, Xenox was shot down by Master as BX2 revenge on Zen6 there. Uh, it's going being flashed opposite of objective. But Snooker tries to cover him, getting shot down by Toba as Goni gets killed by Mia there. A really awesome, nice round there. Looked like, looked like a bad one, I said, again, didn't get into extraction, but. Yet they managed to win the round. They have 3 2. I use something like it's going to says he's buck. We might see Disco, I'm not sure. but Yeah, it's going to be Disco. It's going to immediately shouted on buck at the beginning of the round. He couldn't run or anything. I'm not quite sure, but he couldn't really run forward. Oh yeah, Toba, Toba uh, doesn't believe him, he thinks there was something else, but actually he just shouted it immediately when the round started and there was no fire being exchanged or anything, so I doubt, uh, I doubt that uh, this was a lie, so must have been, uh, must have been correct, just usual discard there, we're live again, normal flash. Again, a couple of guys spamming. It looks like yeah, you know, Mia doesn't get into extraction. This is uh, bad. Of course, Master just spams down the down the sewer, gets a nice kill, and we have Snooker, Snook covering East extraction together with Skoni. That's going to take an objective now of the flash out East access. This looks like a win for Enro if they don't do huge mistakes again. Well, I doubt it as Toba just detects two of his teammates. Um, Master killing Toba now. <coughs> BX2 in a fight with him. They they, I'm not sure if they know that, they take an objective already, but they're still holding back at East Sewer, and this is the round for Enro. We have 4-2, last round before we're swapping sides, and I'm not sure if uh, Enro is capable of running in Blight. I know uh, a couple of weeks, maybe months or so, they weren't, but if they prepared for the land, that, that this might have changed, but in case they are able to come in blind, if they are able to run in blind, I guess they will win more than two rounds, so winning another round for DI is crucial. Skoni gets hit, yellow bleeding from the spam down there, this time Tobo got into extraction, he's flashed so, got Snooker, Snooker, oh nice, get Tobo gets covered by Mio, who just came from East Axis, killed Skoni, Tobo was still being flashed to extraction pound, now we have Masa, Master just east axis, aiming down the east axis corridor as he uh, came from T-Cross. DI now holding objective, Tobo just right out of the objective and uh, Mir at what we call objective cubby hole. He's just going towards west axis now. We should just take a look at Master, he's the last one being yellow in west axis. Just have fire exchange there. Master T cross now, moving his way to east axis. Slowly, but surely walking down the east axis, really slowly. Going back as there is a flash coming. He's not flash, walking back in again. They don't know it yet. But it's gonna be a crucial one one situation. He expects someone to just come west axis, but they definitely just hold off as uh, Mia is yellow already and they definitely know about Master's aiming skill, so I doubt he can clutch this situation because 2v1 is a really hard target if you're attacking and uh, defense or in extraction, but nothing is impossible, would you see? If he gets early pick, maybe 
can take out one without the cover of the other one, then, uh, well, Tobbe's not paying attention to the sixes. He just walks out. Oh, what an awesome shot there from Tobbe. Master comes out. Of course, it was yellow, but Tobbe just jumps, lands on his feet, get the shot on Master just right into his face, and uh, we'll see Andrew Griffin's leading 4 2 for uh, half time. Short uh, kill round down, we have uh, BX24 into Mir 74, Xenox 25, Tobber 35, Zant 64, Snooker 14, Skoni 3 and 3, and Master 65. Like I said early on, this map is a lot more balanced than it used to be. Of course, Flash are not as, if, as effective as they were in earlier versions, but yet. Fans are able to run in blind. Let's see uh, if Enro is capable of doing that as well. If not, this might be a really, really, really close game. We see, we see spamming upstairs on defense that from Enro Griffin this time and Snooker flanking. Let's just see if uh, Skoni is trying to run in blind, and he he did manage to run in blind. He got in, so uh, they are capable of doing it. It looks like a bit weird, not really coordinated though, but oh, Snooker was shot by BX2, Snooker was the flanker, but couldn't do his job. Go anywhere, it was two huge skills, really important skills. Mia now taking down Master, as then's walking out of East, but gets taken out there as well. Mia just coming from the T-cross, gets them in the back, gets the first one, now takes down Zanzix. Uh, which leaves uh, Sconey still being green. Last man alive for Andrew Griffins. Sconey shoots, I think he hit actually. Mir being yellow now. While uh, BX2 and the two was one, he's just spamming down. They're smoking him at east, so. Uh, oh, counter smoke, it looks like. We have Butterbrunner at objective now. I need to speak a little bit silent because they're just sitting next to me almost. Mia being red flashed now in this access. Just shoot, he's not being flashed. This is uh, really curious. I'm really, I'm really curious how he did not get flashed there. The flash was just right on his face. He was just prone down watching it. Maybe it was just a bit in the sewer and uh, there was level difference between him and the flash. That could have been the case, but I'm not quite sure. Of course, awesome route there, making it really, really interesting as the match is tied currently. 4-4. Four, four. See, Sconey managed to get in East Texas as well. Definitely works uh, works a lot better than it did for DI. A lot of spam going down. Zance is... Oh, Sconey there with the first kill again. Just just shoots down Toba as speaks to spam sniper. A lot of spam exchange. Skoni there with the next kill on Xanax. Skoni really doing a huge job, huge job there on extraction. Last one being Mia being flashed on East. That's an easy kill for Skoni. He gets three kills this round. Really doing a great job there on extraction. It runs in by, gets every round like at least one or two kills there when they try to when they try to rush him and uh, yeah. It's just like backing up his team a lot. Again, one guy flanking for Andrew Griffins. Only Mass is going, going down immediately, followed by Zanz to try to spam someone. The usual smoke being deployed at T-Cross. Skoni running in, still asking if he really managed to get in. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background, but... Oh, Tobo just spams Zanz. Zanz just came in unflashed, tried to run down the hallway. Get shot there. Oh, this could be a really, really nice round for the ISB. So just managed to kill Master. Skoni like locked down the very, very last copy hole of East Sewer, trying to smoke his way out there again. As, uh, as I think there's one next to objective or objective copy hole from DI already. Just smoke, go through the smoke. This doesn't work out at this massive fire exchange. They don't really see each other. Skoni now shoots to the bottom, but gets revenge there by BX2. Get the first, but that's not enough as BX2 is just there to save the round for DI. We're currently tied again 5 5. This sounds really, really interesting. Seems the same tactic 
hand there from Andrew Griffins. The snooker flanking and getting Xenox then was just there to hold him off this time, but couldn't as snooker gets kill on kill on Xenox. Sconey gets in again, so they obviously prepare for this match because I remember they couldn't get in uh, a month ago, so might be preparation. Two guys west X is there for. Uh, Oh, Mia, Mia just coming down from the back, oh, west elbow, shooting down, snooker. Last two alive for Andrew Griffins are Zans, all the way down East Sewer, proning behind the tire and uh, sconing the cubby all next to him. So if they smoke, if they put a few good smokes there, avoid the spam being exchanged there from the two last Andrew Griffins player, this might be close round. Bench just being lucky not getting hit by any spam there, although it's just in the middle of it. The flash me, oh, Sconey just walks out as top of spam stay on the line. Kobe gets Sconey. Sconey had a poor flash in hand, which means that just went off when he died. Flash, then, then, now he's run through the smoke, getting shot just by Mia, as if there was no smoke. M Mia going huge for DI so far. With, uh, 13 to 6, he's, uh, leading his team to a 6-5 lead against Andrew Griffin so far. Not, not much of a change again in the tactics. Let's see, basically the same again. Snooker again flanking, this time no one there to shoot. Oh, Sconey didn't... oh, that was close. Almost didn't manage to get in, now he's... Go to the tire again. Oh, Xenox just spam smarter there down the line. No, actually it was West Texas already. Oh, there two guys, one east, one with. Oh, this is awesome work there by DIS. They managed to get West Texas, but we are now getting shot from his back. Snooker all his way into West Texas now. Two guys watching him actually. Well, West needs to go out. Gets the first one, turns around, reloads. Ah, gets shot by Toba. He just walked out, got a couple of really nice shots, but then reloaded himself and just escaping. Probably didn't think of it. We're 7 5 in favor of D Indiana right now, which means another round, and they won this match. This is match point for DI. This time we see all four Enro players going downstairs. I'm not sure if they're risking anything, if they might rush T cross or something. Yeah, they smoke. No, they 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 ran in. Three guys spamming down the line this time. See, Toba getting hit twice. They were running through the west exit. He's now throwing the smoke towards east exit, spamming to the barrels, trying to get his way into into the objective. Kobe Ho doesn't see anyone far back there. Uh, Sconey is this time not proning at the tire. But spamming someone from the cubby hole while well, there's Big Sue and Mia getting two inch kill. This is a fucking three on one situation. Mia just going huge for his team. Just walking in East Texas. He knows where Sconey is. Just slowly smoking. Big Sue just spams him. Awesome work there. We're 8 5 for D Indiana right now. They win the first map on top with uh, Mia being 15 and 7 for his team. Just doing huge work there. Uh, running in blind. Uh, not all of the time though, and BX2 spamming a huge amount of people that were 13 to 3 cracks. So uh, we'll take a short break, see what the next map is, and uh, we're back.